What's up, my lovelies? Welcome to another episode of Unfounded Hatred. So today we're looking at the trailer for Battle Los Angeles. All that really needs to be said in regards to what this movie's about is on IMDb's storyline description. A marine platoon faces off against an alien invasion in Los Angeles. You can't get any more simple than that. Well, except for maybe the description for the movie The Bible. Simplicity is gold. One of the things that also indicates to me that this movie might actually be pretty good, it has a smaller cast, a no-name group. And the bigger names on the cast bill really still aren't that huge. For instance, Aaron Eckhart, a la Batman, one of my favorite actors, although Thank You For Smoking is probably my favorite movie of his. If you haven't seen it, it's hilarious. Then of course there's the angel of my eye, Michelle Rodriguez. I can be your hero, baby. No, oh, I wish you weren't a lesbian. Or I wish I was a girl. This movie certainly has a lot of things going for it, so let's go ahead and get started. Here is the trailer for Battle Los Angeles. I swear I've seen the exact font and the fade the exact same way in another trailer before. Oh yeah, that's from the Jeff Bridges spoof trailer I made. You should check it out. So I'm not gonna lie, these visual effects look stellar. But what the hell is that? Nothing causes smoke to do that. And it didn't even hit anything. I hate it. No, not really. It looks pretty cool. That looks cool. I want to see a bunch of innocent beachgoers get massacred. So this clip is obviously early in the movie because they don't know that they're actually being attacked by aliens yet. Look right here. They think they're meteors. This actually leads me to think the action will get started fairly quickly. And I like action. So there's a pretty clear glimpse at our little alien friend. Looks pretty cool. Might be a robot, might be an alien in a robot suit. Either way, it looks pretty neat. Dove out of a pool. That's action. I like action. Huh. So this trailer is awesome. It's got great potential. There's no Aaron Eckhart in the trailer, at least not that I saw, which is disappointing, but we did get a little Michelle Rodriguez. I can be no, we already did that joke. And it's got awesome visual effects that I can't wait to see. Not to mention that the song is really cool, but if you've seen my Deathly Hollows review, you know that music is everything. You could put the same song on the trailer for Kung Fu Panda 2 and it would seem just as epic. I 
So in the end, I'm really looking forward to this movie. No, 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 wait, that is not it. That is not everything. If there's something that I noticed right away that could really destroy this movie, it's right here. What is that? That is a little kid. That is a little kid. Little kid alert. Little kids in these movies ruin everything. So this is little Joey King, and I have nothing against her personally. But the fact of the matter is, is that little kids in these kinds of movies really make it boring and stupid for everybody else. She will have to do a lot in order to impress most of the audience for this movie. Which she might. War of the Worlds was directed by a total wash-up and starred a complete lunatic, but the worst part was Dakota Fanning. She made me want to cry watching that movie. And not because she did great, but because she made me want to kill myself. And it makes me feel bad seeing her in a movie like this. She's going to end up starring in some crappy third-rate movie as some drunken prostitute. Hey, it's Dakota Fanning. Yeah, you didn't think that was her, but it was. Okay, maybe I'm being a tiny bit harsh. The little kid really can't ruin everything. Maybe she's only a small portion of the story. It could have been a lot worse. I mean, they could have cast like a rapper or something. Oh my god, that's Neo, isn't it? Crap. The visual effects were awesome. The music was awesome. It was all perfect. Even the cast was good. And then they had to put this little girl and this rapper in this movie, and they have to do a lot to make me enjoy it. That's why my hatred for this is totally... Hatred sounded. I want to see this movie. Everything about it looks really cool, except for these two factors. There's only going to be two possible outcomes to watching this movie. The first is complete satisfaction. It looks awesome. It's a fun ride. It's a roller coaster. Lots of action. Lots of fun. Can't go wrong with that. The second outcome is total disappointment, and I have a feeling that's where we're headed. The other problem I have with these alien movies is that we tend to always win. I want to see us get our asses kicked. That's how it would actually be, and I don't mean like Skyline asses kicked. I mean like Simpsons Treehouse of Horror asses kicked. I don't have anything else to say. I'm going to bed. Last but not least, I have another question for you guys. What would be the most inappropriate movie to end with an alien invasion? Put your comments down there. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, uh, like, likes over there, maybe. Is it over there? I don't know. Actually, the comment question is, where's the like box? Let me know. Have a good one. Motorcycle going by. Dumbasses.